Hello everyone, this is Leonid from Tyke, and today I'm going to show you how to build completely custom developer portal for the Tyke API gateway. Tyke by default includes the portal functionality. You can modify templates, you can list API catalogs, you can register and login users. But sometimes you just need something custom built for you, maybe include into your own platform. And thankfully Tyke is flexible enough to make it simple and provides all the needed APIs. First of all, let's start by obtaining API dashboard API key. You can do it by going to your user and getting API credentials. Don't forget that this user should have access to the portal, to the analytics, and I guess that's all. Next, you need to configure your portal. This is outside of this video, but basic idea is that you already should have configured your APIs and policies, and you need to define APIs which will be visible to your developers. It's called Portal API Catalog, and in this example I defined two APIs. Here's the name, description, some bigger description. You can you specify policies for this API. And next, um, you can see here's all registered developers, you can see key requests, and all the stuff. Basically, basic idea that we will be build custom developer portal for the developers, but for their administration, you can still use Tyke admin dashboard. Let's first check how it looks. Here is the portal we're going to build. It's include it's li list all the APIs, and you can sign up. You can log in. I already created the login, so let's try to see what's inside. Inside, you can see some basic analytics. Right now, it's zero requests, but it's just summary of all the requests. And here you can see um, APIs available to the developer. Uh, in this, for this API, he already subscribed to it, and for this, we can request access. You can specify use case and monthly well monthly API requests. Note that all these fields is completely custom. You can specify any form and store it inside developer or key request object. It's completely configurable. Once I submit request, you can see that user was subscribed, subscribed to lead verification API and he'll receive email with his API key. Note that user was automatically after approved and you can actually configure it in portal settings by requiring key approval. In this case, all the keys will need to be approved manually in key request section. Now let's try to see how it was built. In s below this video you will find the link to the source code of this example portal and documentation how to build it. So let's first learn some basic building blocks. So as mentioned you need to have API token. Next we should be able to create developers uh, by posting this example payload. You don't have to remember its unique developer ID because later you can just identify developer by his email and you can just look up. Uh, note that by default tag doesn't validate developers so they everyone can register and for example if you have invite only system and you want to configure it it's possible and developer object have inactive attribute so in this payload when you create developer you can specify inactive false and add this logic to your custom portal and in future approve developers in your admin dashboard or via API as you wish. 
Next, here's example of updating developer and adding few custom fields. Basically, we need to post full payload, which we receives from the API from the lookup with changed fields. In this example, we added traffic source. These names can be anything. And if you go to the portal itself, you can see that uh, developer is um, one minute. If you go to the developer view, you can see his custom fields here. So every non-empty custom field displayed in developer admin dashboard. Next, there is, you can verify developer credentials using this API method. So if it returned a HTTP code is OK, then he can log in. If not, he can be rejected. And next, we need to get a list of APIs available to the developer. And now request access to them. So here's how you can create K request. As mentioned, by default, it will be auto approved. And here's you, how you can check user subscriptions inside the developer object. There is subscriptions field. And it lists all his API keys and APIs which he subscribed to. Note that if uh, in case of Tide Cloud, you will not be access, able to access his API keys directly instead you access only hashed values of the keys so you can still access analytics but not the keys itself on the on-premise and hybrid versions you can turn off key hashing and you can access all the developer keys next is analytics you can get aggregate analytics for one key or for multiple keys you can just specify keys separated by the comma here and dates in the following formats from and to dates. You can also filter by API ID, API version. You can specify resolution like day, hour, a month, anything. And now let's go through actual code. It's written in Ruby. It's really simple and you can run it using this command by default, it will use hybrid or cloud API endpoint. So you just need to replace your API key here. But you can change it to use tag dashboard URL if you are behind the proxy or if you are using on-premise environment. So here is a configuration section. And here, basically, just start HTTP connection to the dashboard API and we set authorization header to our API key value and now we can do the simple requests against our API so for example session developer in our case means that if this value is set user is locked and this value stores his email and before each request if it's set we request developer details from our API by lookuping him using email. And if everything is OK, we assign developer object so we can use it in our views. And in addition, we also get information about available APIs and about portal configuration. So some of the endpoints require access only for developers. So we adding some check to some URLs like ours logged. So it means that they will be available only to the logged developers. Uh, here we define really simple templates, which you already saw. Um, for example, listing API catalog, its name, short name, long description, and checking if developer have, have subscription to the given API. 
if developer is logged, we are directing him directly to the dashboard. And inside dashboard, we get list of available user keys and try to get aggregate statistics across all his keys and just summarize all the total statistics. Next is K request. So user is able to request access to the given API. And to, to do this, you need to construct this object in this format as described in documentation and post it to the uh, API port request endpoint. If everything is okay and our portal doesn't require K approval, it will be approved by default. Uh, it, it, it will be after approved by calling API portal requests approve. And if this value is true, then you need to approve it manually in admin dashboard. Next is user registration. Uh, it's actually similar to what we saw above. We construct an object and note that fields is can be completely custom. It can be anything you want, like name, location, or traffic source. You can use it as you want. There is no any limitations. And there is also an active field. By default, it falls. But if you want to add additional verification step, like if you have an invite-only system or similar, or for example, if you want to add additional email verification, you can set it to true uh, and check it in your templates and handle this logic in your code. If everything is locked and developer is registered, we assign a session developer object. So it means that user is locked in and will be his info will be available to all templates. Next is login. API provides simple method. You just post username and password of the developer and it returns uh, and based on HTTP code you will be able to decide if his credentials match or not and log him or, log him or not. And that's, uh, that's all. As you can see it's very simple and our custom developer portal does not store any information inside. Instead, it uses Tyke API to store and read all the data. Thank you. Hope you like it.